Welcome back, Monster Slayers, to Silent Hill. Now, when we last left off, we just unfortunately had to kill um, Sybil. We had no choice, alas, but uh, never mind. So we've got a save room here. Uh, I guess we could just make a new save. I'm curious to see how long. We've been playing for 4 hours 59 minutes. Really? Okay, not bad. Right, so, two choices. Okay, I guess we only have one choice. So we're back in the hospital or so, it would seem. Yeah, we definitely only have one choice. Okay, how many bullets, actually, did we blast away on Sybil? Lots. Lots of bullets. That's not good. However, considering we're back in the hospital, these guys were easy to take out with this thing. And that is a terrifying camera angle. I'm being summoned. Oh, what take happened in this town? Word for it. What Harry. could be making things like this? Some kind I have of a demon. If I take the elevator down, I'll find it. Well then, my friend, that Cheryl. is what we must do. So, where are we now? Do we need to find a map? I guess so. Alright. So, we're actually kind of... I mean, it's the hospital, but it's a different hospital. There's a key in the faucet, but I can't get it out no matter how much I pull. Right. Okay. I always find that such a weird uh, word, faucet. We just call them taps in the UK. Oh. So we're kind of back here. The birdcage is locked. But there's a key. Oh, bullets. Excellent. Yeah, we take the bullets. Right. So, Harry, my friend, we're kind of back here. Although, things are indeed different. Payleg. Carved on the door. What the heck was that? Alright. Uh, oh, and another save room already. Old clock. There's a square hole in the centre of the clock. The hands of the clock is a key. Bloody hell. I can't get to it because of the glass cover. Well, you could just, you know, smash the glass cover, but uh, what do I know? Interesting. Right, we'll take the first aid kit. Oh, hang What? We're back in the antique shop. Alright. Things are getting really freaking messed up now. Oh. Hey, nurse. Harry. I definitely have auto-aim set to one. However. He still doesn't really auto-aim that well. We're injured. Of course we are. Come on, Nursey. I have a little present for you right here. Pointy end of a hammer. It's got your name on it. Nursey. Come on. There you go. Ooh, right in the skull. Nasty bit of business, but unfortunately we had to do it. Right, don't want to go through there yet. It's locked. The word... Oh, okay. Oh, man. So that's down into the basement. We don't want to go down there just yet. Let's exhaust all the other rooms first. Which, actually, we have done, I think. We got this one. Yes, we did. And I didn't save it. So there's a save. Okay. Well, 
I guess we're going into the base. I mean, there is that room as well. Yeah, oh, it's locked. Fair enough. So down into the basement we go. Well. Not quite the basement, but we'll take it, I guess. It's only got one table in. Hmm. Oh, hello. Screwdriver and pliers. Alright, I wonder if we can use the pliers on the key. I mean, that makes sense to me, but let's see what they say. Uh, a tool used on metal and wires, rusted but usable. Fine, okay. Okay, well, if this doesn't get that key out of the faucet, then I don't know, to be honest. Now, where was that? That was like in the first room we came into, so it's one of these two. Was it this one? Yes. Right, let's have a go with this then. All right. Well, maybe you need more leverage. Oh man, that sounds terrible. All right, so we've got a key. Oh, awful, awful yell. However the hell you say that. Right, cool. Now, which one was that? Was that that one? Yes. Oh man. Corridors and corridors. Oh my. What's this? There is a slate. Okay. Got a load of names on it. Oh boy. Right, well, we'll come back to that then. Jammed. It's the door we came in through. Locked. Nope. It's broken. The heck is this? Hmm. So there's a ball. Oh, bloody hell. Right, so... Oh, I see. They've all got, like, numbers on them. Okay, so do we have a ball? Four, I guess. Alright, let's try four. Oh, I see. Children playing and center okay but we don't have those symbols all right well we'll come back to that then as well right let's keep going lock is jammed lock is jammed and jammed again. Oh boy. Right. Names engraved on a lithiograph. The Grim Reaper's list. Yes, the head count is set young and old, lined up in order of age. Then the pathway opens, awaiting them. The frenzied uproar, the feast of death. <sighs> Names engraved. Uh -huh. The head count is set young and old, lined up in order of age. Then the pathway opens up, awaiting them. The frenzied uproar, the feast of death. Okay. So, oh, hello. That's got to be to do with that then, obviously. Bugger. Right. So. I 
I mean, I guess. Let's take a photo of that. I guess we've got to type in some names. However. There we go. However, I don't know. Do we start with the youngest? Um, well, well, actually no, because if that if they're in order of age, Lydia the youngest. Let's go with Lydia. Let's see what happens. Finley. I'm kind of confused here, to be honest. Uh, I have no memory of this at all. L. Y. Anything? No. In that case... Albert Lords, because he's has the smallest number. Um, uh, e R T L O Where's R? D S No. Hmm. Trevor F. White. Edward C. Briggs. All right. What did that say? See, this has to be the clue to the puzzle. Names engraved on a lithiograph. The Grim Reaper's list. Yes, the head count is set young and old, lined up in order of age. Oh, right, hang on. Ah. So maybe they're not in order of age. Maybe we have to put them all in order. So, Albert first. Are we really going to have to type all this in? Uh, Albert Lords, and then it would be... Who's the next youngest? So, Albert's 18. And then 35 would be Lydia Finley. Hmm... Right, this could take ages to type in, so I'm just going to do this off camera and see what I can fiddle with. Alright guys, I'll be back in a minute. Right. Okay, back guys. Now, this was kind of an odd one for me. Um, it took me a little bit of trying, and then actually I couldn't quite get it so I did actually look this up now I looked it up and it was bloody obvious really. well yeah kind of obvious so if we examine this panel here if you look in order of age and take the first letter it actually spells out alert so that's actually what we need to do however there's a little bit more flavor if we go back I remember which door actually leads back. Nope. Not that one. Yeah, if we go back outside into the hall. I know one of these goes back, goddammit. One of these will lead us. Really? Which bloody door is it? Not that one. This one. I should know this. I've been running around here for ages. Right, if we go back here, back downstairs, uh, into the basement, 
Now, I was running around for a little while trying to find stuff. If we examine this, I thought there had to be something here. I thought there might be an item that says, Go home, thief, drop dead. I thought that was kind of interesting, so I thought I'd throw that in the video anyway. Just uh, to show you guys, in case there are any of you out there that haven't seen that. Uh, I'd imagine most people have played this game pretty thoroughly. Um... And now, if we go back into that room, let's try typing in alert. Let's see if we can actually get through here. A L E R and T. There we go. Excellent. No bump in the road, but that's fine. Ooh, what have we got in here? Can't just be an empty room. Nothing special. You know what would make me happy, game? A map. Oh, shit. It's getting a bit dodgy in here. Huh, loads of bodies. Is that ever. Oh, hello, what's that? Ah, an amulet of Solomon. Take it. Sure. Um, a body is laid out on the bed. I don't feel like checking this out. Yeah, fair enough, man. I can kind of understand. Is that all that was there? Now, I don't know. The amulet is a star-shaped object with six corners named after the ancient magician. Right. Well... Okay, so I don't know what we can exactly do with that. Harry. Oh. Lisa. Oh, what's hello. the matter with you? I get it now. Why I'm still alive even though everyone else is dead. Go on. I'm not the only one who's still walking around. Nope. I'm the same as them. I just hadn't noticed it before. Lisa. Stay by me, Harry. Please. I'm so scared. Help me. Save me from them. Please. So she's a monster? Harry? I guess. <gasps> oh, hell. What? Put a bullet in her head. Make it quick, man. So, yeah, she was... Lisa. She was actually a monster kind of thing. She just didn't realise it. Oh, there's me knocking the mic with my headset. Um, yeah, that was that's pretty dark. Well, no body in it. There's a diary on the floor. Ask doctor to help me quit being in charge of that patient. It's too weird. Still alive, but with wounds that won't heal. Told the doctor I quit. Won't work at that hospital anymore. The room is filled with insects. Even with doors and windows shut, they get in to spite me to the hospital. Feeling bad, need to throw up, but nothing comes out. Vomiting only bile. Blood and pus flow from the bathroom faucet. I try to stop it, but it won't turn off. Need drug. Help me. Ah, so is she stuck on, like, Dr. Kaufman's drugs as well? Interesting. 
So, okay. Some really beautifully sad music as well. So the amulet is... A, okay, that's fine. Where the hell do we use that? Unless... Can we use that with the other puzzle? I, mean, I can't see where we would use that with the other puzzle. What's that there? Oh yeah, the center. Can we put that in there? No. Hmm. Yeah, see that's actually a ball. And I don't think that was a ball, was it? We can't move those. No, that's like a lamb. Uh, fish. Okay, so I don't have a clue what to do with those. But we're kind of out of options. To be honest. Where else is there to go? That's locked. Ah! Ah! Yeah, in here, I wonder. Can we use that in here? No. Hmm. A square hole in the center of the clock. Oh yeah, that certainly isn't a square, is it? Anything else in this room? Okay, Harry, we appear to be stumped. Can we use the lift? The elevator doesn't appear to be working. Ah, oh, what about this? Bird cage is locked, so we definitely need a key for the bird cage. Right, okay. We haven't found anywhere that needs like this Star of Solomon. Oh shit! Okay. Supposed to come back in here? Oh. Get off me. Come on, ladies. Oh. 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 There we go. Oh. Nice. Job done. Bet we took a bit of damage from that. No, we didn't. Anybody need a kick? Someone needs a kick. Oh. You. Now, she did mention something about this faucet in the diary. However, I don't know if hmm. So there's no reason to come in here then. Can't do anything with that. <sighs> Okay. Okay, guys, let me go exploring. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, kind of cracked it. Now, these are obviously the astrological signs. I mean, the only reason I really twigged that is because that's crab and cancer. Um, so... By looking it up, you just got to put the uh, correct order in, which is kind of weird. Um, I'm not super familiar with these signs, so this was a lot of trial and error. Did I actually get that right, though? That is four. And this one should be eight. If this isn't eight, I'm just going to look it up. It is. Okay, cool. Right, so what the heck is that? Stone of... Ah, oh, Stone of Time. So that's a square stone of time. And I need to restart my timer. Um, so that's got to be for the clock. Cool. Progress is being made. Oh, shit. 
bitch. Christ. Fucking die, you bastard. Yeah, that made me jump. Right, cool. Hello. I thought there might be more of you now. Sit down and be quiet. We have a job to do after all. Right, so where was that stone of time? Was that, that wasn't in, that was, yeah, no. Nope. i got to remember. I've been running around this place for a fair amount of time now. Nope. This one? Nope. I apologise if you can hear snoring as well. My cat is asleep and she is ridiculously loud. I know it's one of these damn doors. God damn it. Come on. Uh, it's not that one because that's the one we... Was it that one? Where the hell was that bloody door now? Wasn't that one. That one? Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Oh, save room. Good stuff. Right, so now we have another key. Or we should have another key in a minute. Unless this isn't right. But this has to be right. Okay. Now, what key is this? <coughs> oh, shit. I want to get a glass in your eyes. Oh. Haggith. Okay. Thanks, Haggith. Now, let's... Now, where was Haggith? Wasn't that one, was it? No. Was there another one in here? Another door with marks on it. Doesn't look like it. Alright, so maybe all the marked doors were out here. I don't remember a Haggif, though. Yeah. Hey, leg. What's that one? Nope, that's not the right one. That's not the right one either. That's not the right one. Hmm, where the hell was this door? Elevator doesn't appear to be working. Hmm. That's locked. Is that a door? Oh. Okay, I didn't even know that was a door. Fair enough. This leads to an elevator. Well, this thing better work. Yes, it does. Uh, I guess we'll go to the second floor, if we're on the first. Um, okay. Whoa. Right, we've got some nurses. Oh, I can see. Come on, my lovelies. Step right up. Let me release you from your torment. There you go. You can thank me later. Right, let's tag the other one. Wherever she is. Come on, love, this way. Step right up. I want to pick your brains. Come on. Come on. Let's have a swirl around in that... Uh, Gooey head meat of yours. Step right up. There you go. Your problems are now over. Good. Right, lock is jammed. Lock is jammed. Wow, we can go through here. Wow, another key and some bullets. Excellent. Rifle shells, no less. Crest of Mercury. Alright. 
I'm not quite sure what we do with that. What's that? A ring of contract. Again, no idea. Okay, so... Rustic, hefty-looking ring of unknown material. Snake in the symbol of a mercury signifies alchemy. Okay. Right. Anyway, guys, we're actually out of time, so... I'm going to save and I'm going to leave the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. I know this has been a little bit of a clusterfuck, this one, but uh, we got there in the end, God damn it! So, hopefully when we continue... We're going to find out what to do with all these new items. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.